Good evening, and welcome to the Soviet Republic of NAW. <clears throat> T tonight we're doing a little tour, I, I think, in the history of this place. I'll try and keep it to, <laughs> sure, 30 minutes or so, thereabouts. I just have to. That's, that's just the way it is. Okay, yeah, here's where it all started. How to make money without workers in the Works and Resources Soviet Republic. Anno 2021. With a new interface and everything. And that's how you do it. Bauxite. <laughs> that's the stuff you want. That's real lucrative to to uh, extract by machinery. Like so. Conveyor it down the mountain. Uh, mountain, a little hill. Yeah. And and then onto a train. Is how we choose to do it here. Uh, so we took it here. This is the first train. Train line that was ever built. In 1960, and now it's 1995. 35 years ago. 40. No, 35 years ago. Maths. Yes. These are the windmills. Some of the windmills. These are the first windmills. Here's how it works in this place. <laughs> it's that the windmills are driving all trains and all automated resource extraction, such as such as that one over there, the bauxite thing. Um, yeah, the rail line was laid out here. See what the, what the ambition for train length was in the beginning. <laughs> and I think it's safe to, to send today's trains to this point, place. Uh, oh. And electrical wires crisscrossing all over the place. It is all correct though. It is exactly as it's supposed to be. Almost. It's working exactly as it's supposed to work. Yes. Not a whole lot of traffic around. So, that was the first bit. And that was this. That is how you make money without workers in works and resources in 2021. Uh, as of this version, 0.8.5 branch. Yep. Uh, more windmills. You don't need to do that. It's easier to input power. Yeah, but I think it's real cute that the still the trains still not, now that we have 75 trains or, or thereabouts, I haven't counted them, but thereabouts. Uh, here they are, by the way, some of them. And uh, they stop every so often when when the wind stops blowing and so on, and they slow down. And, uh, and these things, they stop pumping too when the wind stops blowing. And obviously they are not. No. I'd say that the wind isn't low enough, most likely. Did we check what the wind is doing? 13 meters, 13? Yeah, that, but now they're running. Better. Let's take a look at this one. That one has a good quality of source, I'd imagine. Yep, anywho, the, the, <laughs> yes. Already getting sidetracked, you know, 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, we have to get on with it then. <clears throat> yeah, so this is the second resource that is really sort of lucrative to uh, to extract by machinery only and, and sell as is. Um, yeah. But then, you know, yeah, you can keep doing that if, if you like, and I think I kept doing that for a little while. There are a few more uh, of these automated resource extraction things going on. Um, but we needed people, uh, eventually, to get more interesting things going on than, than just these few trains running about. Not, not, not that there is anything wrong with this. But, yeah, so it was... It was time to build the first town. Here's the train waiting. It will wait here for quite a while because it is going in there to load. <coughs> Where there are, is, uh, there are already two trains standing. Yep. Oh, I went looking for steel. Steel is really a good uh, foundational thing to start with. And uh, I found it somewhere, although I'm not something... Not, yeah, well, here it is. I'm actually going the right way. And this is it. This is the first town. I'm just going now to the center of it. Yep, about here. <laughs> it's where it started with the people. Let's 
see we have a red star monument see where we have the the bus stop oh lenin saying hello outside the shopping center as the truck drop, drops off a bit of food for them here is the bus platform of course with the fountain It is a bit grim, maybe. There's the secret police. They have uh, beetles, they have buggies driving around. In, <clears throat> yes, history. Yes. So that's the next thing. Uh, you, you can get bauxite and oil without workers, but we maybe like to refine it. Or we'll do something a bit more fanciful, such as uh, steel. That, yeah, steel. Uh, but but before you can do all that to to support the infrastructure to support the people, yes, yeah, so we had to build a few things. I started out there. Yeah, never mind how how that went. This is how it is nowadays, for a population in total of thirty eight thousand people. Uh, for the moment, we have still not recovered completely from the last catastrophe. Uh, uh, one food factory it should be enough, just about, it is stretching it, <coughs> but it's just about enough for 40,000 people thereabouts. And apparently three meat farms, but this, I've, I've been juggling this around too much, I don't know what's going on with them. But we, here we have all that we need to make, all the food and drink and meat that we need. Uh, these two trains I'd imagine are uh, import. Yeah, they are. <coughs> they, they go get crops. Can't be bothered uh, doing farming, I feel, this time. There's a bit of grass growing here, if you can see. Yeah, but these are these, one, one from the east, one goes to the east, and a very much new one that goes to, to the west. And uh, how long are they? They're both real long. Yes. Yes, they are. Um, yeah, so this is the food industry, and uh, one of those, uh, one of these, uh, whatever they're called here in the middle. The train is waiting for too long, it's claiming the combined cargo storage <coughs> version 2. Right, it does everything, and, and a bit more, and a bit too much. But it's also a whole lot of logistical issues surrounding uh, meat, uh, and food, and, uh, and such production. Yeah, just get the crops in, in there and, and it's all taken care of. Damn it, it's rainy here. Uh, yep, so, so this is yeah, the de, uh, de facto capital. We don't quite have a de jure capital, like a pronounced, announced one. But it is the first town. And they make all the things. Um, Right, which order? Yeah, we have that now. That's, that's the current food industry. Uh, really, the first resource that we started digging out of the ground was over here. There's uh, so lots of electrical wiring going on. Yes, and it's all correct. Here. And they are working at the coal mine. <laughs> Let me check how many people are, are inside. 122. 430 tons of coal ore per day. Yeah. That is good that we have the nuclear power plant. You know, we don't have to run the coal power plant. Yeah. <coughs> no, it's, but the coal is conveyed thusly. Very complicated system here. It goes from, from the coal mine into three coal ore processors. Um, and it sort of was, for, for a while, it was really important to keep this place fed with a, uh, just a ridiculous amount of coal, 600 tons per workday, for the realistic coal power plant. Yeah, that it took a whole lot of coal, uh, and therefore we have a very intricate system here of being able to prioritize the coal uh, go coming out of all these three into the same spot, whilst also maintaining the possibility to, to have all overflow go over to everything else basically although now nowadays it's it's sort of the other way around since all the coal we use here over here that's critical it's for heating and they have a 
pile here of almost 2,000 tons. Right now it's August, but, but it's, it'll be, uh, or July or whatever it was, but, but it will be uh, a heating season before you know it. Yeah, there's an aeroplane. We'll, we'll get to that. That's a bit later in history. Yeah, and this, the construction industry, the coal, yeah, we take it in, in, uh, in historical order. Yeah, so coal, we burn that for heating. We also have uh, one more resource then that we dig out. And the second resource that we started digging out was this. Iron. Are we producing? Yeah, we're producing iron. Yeah, I suppose the steel mill is running. Are we uh, like understaffed or overstaffed? Is everything all right? Is everything great? Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty well balanced. They have a little bit of a buffer going on in, in there, maybe. Oh, it might be good. Oops. Yeah, so it's the iron is conveyed over the mountain here a bit, as you do. Onto a pile. It's always good to have a, a buffer in between all the various work workplaces and stages of a resource. Now we put it on a pile. Continue con to conveying it here. And here it apparently splits off. Yes, it does. Into two iron ore processors. <clears throat> and through the woods and uh, the trees and everything, it's, it eventually ends up on the iron pile for the steel mill. And here's the steel mill. It is not looking too bad. It seems like it's got a whole lot going on for it. working quite hard and there is also a train waiting to take steel out. Steel is real good. When you have steel it is worth doing uh, construction. So that's what we did next I think. Yes, yes we did. Yes we did. Construction. Uh, yes, that starts with gravel. Gravel. The gravel quarry is over here. The original gravel quarry that is. <coughs> Yeah, let's start here. Gravel turns into oh stone rather stone at at the, at the stone quarry at the quarry. Yeah, here it goes over to the stone crushing facilities and ends up on the gravel pile and into to these uh, or feed, or fed into a con concrete thing and uh, asphalt thing. Right. And we have a bitumen tank here for, for making the asphalt. That's great, we had to buy that in the beginning, we make it ourselves now. It, yeah. Um, but gravel also does other things. <clears throat> and you also need... And that, that, you, that, that allows you to build, build roads. And so far, basically. Concrete also allows you to do quite a bit of stuff, foundational work. But <clears throat> then we need more construction material, yes. Prefab panels, for example, are quite a staple of the Soviet Republic here. Uh, so we have ourselves a prefab panels factory. Though that's sort of jumping the gun a bit, because if we make it over here, we have something that we actually need to make these things. That's cement. Now, one could buy cement. Uh, but considering the only uh, links, uh, connections we have, to the outside world is via the via the rails <laughs> and also by the air con sort of if I think about it if I were to build an, a cargo airport but not not no uh, anyway it, it turned out to be uh, it seemed to uh, like a good idea at the time to build a cement factory so here we have a cement factory and they um, yeah that's coal they're getting from these uh, these trucks because they need gravel and coal uh, to make cement. Yeah, cement is put into these, uh, and uh, we have have the possibility to take that onto railroad for for distributing to other towns. Yeah, cement. You also you, so you have that's quite a bit of it. You know, you can build quite a lot of stuff with this. 
Um, we have missed one resource though, but that's over in in the other direction. Because uh, that doesn't take gravel, that just takes coal somehow. Uh, bricks. Yeah, yeah you, t you burn coal, you, you get bricks. Yeah, that's how it works in the Soviet Republic anyway. Uh, no clay needed or anything. It's very good. Uh, very efficient process, it would seem. It puts out a lot of smoke, but, but uh, simple enough. It's just feed, feed it a whole lot of coal and a few workers. <coughs> and they actually put out quite a few uh, bricks uh, there. Yeah, uh, steel mill. Yeah, and where once we're here, then there's uh, another construction material that is quite, <coughs> quite foundational and important and sort of used in in all construction, uh, more or less. It's around here. It's 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 really much uh, linked to the trees here. Uh, that are sort of also in the way for it, but that's that's what it's about <coughs> because it's about uh, <coughs> the wood in. It's not actually about the wood, it's the planks that we need for building, but it, it starts here with the wood. And we have, of course, our 24 meter Scania trailers, wood carrier trailers, uh, you know, truck and trailer, as we would say. Uh, for one of these. What does it say? On, it's, it's, there are Michelin tires on this, it looks to me. Oh, that is, yeah, it's difficult to be so close. So, <clears throat> yeah, and there we have a sawmill, uh, a little sawmill. It does the work that it, it needs to do. And here, I suppose they are out in in, in the woods, so to speak, speak and uh, and getting getting the logs. Yeah, you you could have backed it out just a little bit further there, but yeah. Okay. So, so now we have quite a few construction materials. We have like all all the basic stuff. So we need a bit more advanced stuff too. Uh, so we we can buy, but we need uh, electrical components for street lighting, for example. We want to do street lighting. We need an electrical components factory. That's this one. And to make electrical components, you need steel and. Uh, Wait a minute now, you're jumping the gun here. Yeah, while we're here now, we can uh, think I can find my way back there. So, electrical components, they're made out of steel and uh, plastics, I believe. Or mechanical components, perhaps. Uh, and plastics uh, is made out of oil and chemicals. Now, now, it gets a bit complex here, because chemicals here this is not the, the original chemical factory that is included in the game, but it's, it's the same thing, but same, ten times as large. Uh, but that requires then, that requires wood, gravel, um, crops and oil. Uh, so we import crops and we, uh, we have an oil train around somewhere. There's a little bit of smoke coming out of the chimney. We actually have three of these now, uh, for, for reasons. Yeah. Uh, so, so you need chemicals then, and um, if you want to make clothing for for your people, by the way, uh, then finish this off first. Yeah, but if you have plastics and you have electrical components, yeah, then you can make your, uh, yeah, you can make your uh, here electronics. Uh, I assembled electrical components and plastics, so that's what they need. Uh, it's doing into radios, televisions, and so on, <coughs> right? And uh, in uh, what do we have here? Yeah, to clothe the people and keep them happy in uh, in West spring and winter. Does anyone use these uh, these bridges here? Ah, not really. Ah, it's, uh, it's because it doesn't actually go anywhere. Apparently, this is supposed to go. This has been connected before. I'm pretty damn convinced. Uh -huh, it has not. It is not possible to construct. That was lost in an autosave, I would think, in a crash, <coughs> and a an, uh, slightly too old autosave. Yeah, get back on track. Oh, <coughs> we have the electronics now. 
uh, radios and televisions. That, that, that would make the people a bit more happy. But yes, to clothe the people. To clothe the people. <clears throat> we need to make fabrics and that, that, yeah, we had all the things that they needed to make chemicals. That's all the stuff. Basically, <laughs> the entire chain of things we have. Uh, and here we make fabrics. This fabric factory it requires crops and what did you know it chemicals? I suppose this this Volvo here is uh, is unloading chemicals for them. Oh, I would presume he has a lot of things hanging in in the windshield there or in, on the dash, They're sitting on the dash somehow. Yes, <clears throat> get on. So. Yeah, that, that's how we get clothing for the people. Uh, construction materials. We have that's almost all the things you need actually. There's like one resource remaining here for the constructions bits. And that's this <laughs> mechanical components factory, which seems to be quite low on steel. Hmm. I mean, not terribly so. But I think I might be selling a bit more steel than, than I, I maybe should. Yeah, um, so. Yes. Well, the, and, and so it went. And this is now the first the town. And this is the rail yard of the first town. <laughs> if you're coming in on the railroad from. Uh, there, there are many directions that you can come in from. You can come in through the woods. You can come in through the woods. Here. Yeah. So you come in here, a little train, you might have a green. You see the red star, <coughs> you are inspired uh, to go to, to take it uh, in here. And uh, from here I think you have to, what was it, like 20 tracks you have to choose from, from this switch. Um, more or less. Since this goes to everything, so this goes to, to steel, this goes to this goes to wood. I no, this doesn't go to wood. Wood has a separate <coughs> separate spur for me. Um, and here, yeah, this is not working out. I'm gonna have to clear this. Isn't that a whole lot better? A whole lot better. Maybe not a whole lot better, but it's, it's better. Okay, yeah, and here we have the rail switching thing. We can load aggregates because we load coal uh, that we need to, to heat people up in other towns and to make aluminium. Yeah, do not. And we have a, a depot for sending trains out, and we have a rail yard for keeping trains when um, when they have done something, for example, completely filled it up itself with automobiles. Here, yeah. with Mercedes's. We quite a few of them. Uh, this we could send. I don't think that we should send more cars out to the people at the moment. <laughs> we should pr probably send it to the border, if anything. Uh, Soviet Union in 1995. Here, yeah, sure, we send it to the Soviet Union. Come on then. Uh, the large uh, customs house, 22.6 million rubles. <coughs> Doesn't sound as a good deal any longer as it did once upon a time. You know, in the 70s when we when we started doing this, and we, we were kings of the uh, of the Mercedeses to to the Soviet Union. I think I would think. Well, that's right. We're speaking of vehicles, because that was, that was the next thing after that this town had been established, uh, and all the all the things are, were made. That's when it uh, can be gainful to get into this stuff: engineering, building cars, or building vehicles. 
we have, we have sort of focused on, on building Mercedeses. Uh, apparently we're building one to four so as of late. Um, I mean, they have introduced to the market now, since since we're here, they have introduced to the market a, a, a new one. Mm. Personal car, but I don't think I can stand for, for building this. Uh, where is it? I do have the the one the W140 that I can certainly stand, but this, no, no, I'm thinking of this one. No, 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 no. But this one, why haven't I got the, that? Damn it! This I can certainly stand for building the one one the W140. Yes, <clears throat> that's that's what we'll have for now on. Uh, now comes the the interesting talk then of uh, exchanging all the the personal cars of the people for for 140s since they are available. Uh, that that's that will take a while. Yeah, that's not what we're here for. But now we're done doing 140s, uh, and uh, since they are here, we don't need to talk about it, uh, what came later later uh, and was also available right now here 95 from Mercedes. That's just sad what happened after this. That's we and I won't stand for building them, but I will happily stand for building these way into the the. the Two thousands and uh, the t in the twenty tens and the twenty twenties and the twenty thirties and, and for as long as people are interested in buying them, and I think that there will be quite a demand for years to come. Uh, uh, or being people buying them, so our own people driving them around. Yeah, vehicle industry. It's a bit involved since it is all train based and just in time delivery based. So we have one train for every piece of resource, basically, which is... You need mechanical components, you obviously need the steel. A lot of steel. And uh, electrical components. Uh, this, I would think, is the mechanical components, since it is the longest uh, of the cargo variety. And unless you want to complete a constant dinging here from your level crossings, then you need to rebuild bridges over the railroad. That's how it is. When you need to integrate uh, roads into the thing and you haven't thought it out properly, maybe uh, this may not have been properly the, the most optimum uh, solution to this. Uh, but there we have it. That, that's that's all the vehicles being built. The great scheme. Uh, it worked out pretty well. How much money do we have? 186 million rubles. Yeah, all the rubles went into to, to this, uh, the license for, for making these aeroplanes here. All, all of the thing that we had built up. Anyway, so that's sort of what First Town is about. They they provide the essentials, really. <coughs> they, sh they are the foundation. And, and they were the foundation, uh, of course, since it was the first town, and since they now do everything that everyone is dependent upon, really. Uh, so we don't want things happening uh, bad here, or going bad. Oh. Well, that's about it for first town. Oh, we have to go... To go well, there is an oil, an oil refinery too, and an oil thing. This is actually now, <laughs> now that things have gotten along here, and we have three Soviet Concords flying around uh, on an internal airline. Uh, do the, we do burn quite a whole lot of fuel? I've, I've had to to extend the oil extraction a bit uh, and so on. But this is the, the second town. This is aluminium town. The purpose of this place was to make aluminium from the get-go, and this is a damn dense place. Uh, you see, well, it takes uh, quite a few prefab panels to 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 get to get this. Now, this bus platform, this is a legendary bus platform, because it is always full of people, no matter how many buses we send in here. And that is due to being walkable in walkable region, distance for every goddamn residential building that you can see here. Uh, if I can zoom out, uh, yeah, there, that's how you do it. The, the, like, the, there are a few. So, let's say there are uh, half a dozen uh, tops of these that, that are not walkable fr from the bus stop, bus platform. And that's what. Whoa! <laughs> Pardon me there for taking us straight through the earth. Uh, 
Okay, oh, well, listen, the platform is not actually full, but uh, any bus that will come will get a full load. Or whatever it requests. That would be, have been a save, I would think. Uh, uh, and these, these buses, I uh, think, the Mercedes is Line 56, they're all on Line 56. Wagenburg zum Odenstrasse, or something like that. We can, we can look at the next one. Uh, it's the same. Uh, up or not, if I'm too jerky here. Yeah, Austin, Austin, Stra Austin, the Strasse. I can't read here. Oh, no, that's too much. So, aluminium town. Hammer and sickle in the center of town. Lenin in the center of town. Heat pipe in the center of town. Yeah, you can build this underground, you know. I, I didn't quite realize when building this. Could also save us a few, gain us a few, you know, parts per million. Uh, frames per second extra um, by doing them underground. Yeah, <coughs> we're here. Yeah, aluminium. What's the what's the thing uh, from from the start anyway? And and that's what it's about. Still, we have this aluminium plant here. See, there is not a whole lot of uh, smoke coming out of it. I mean, this is supposed to run at a hundred percent. Why isn't it? It is running at 100% actually. Very good. <laughs> the aluminium plant is running at 100% production. Which is very nice. And... And... Uh, yeah, and this is, this is then the aluminium town. Aluminium town's rail yard infrastructure. And this is even more insane <coughs> than first town, I think. Because when you come, either you come in from, from here, or go out this way, or this way. But from there, and, and this is all one block. Uh, should, I think this should now be safe for all kinds of, of things. If we do that, uh, it would have been preferable to have a sharper color. But we think this is a bit more purple than, than the blue bits um, and whatever. So you can come in from there, and you come go out that way, basically, and and it's all one block from there to there, to, to, so one train at a time in all of this. Sometimes a queue informed here, but this right now it's looking, it's looking suspiciously well for some reason, and quiet, a um, bit too suspiciously well, but all that, or it means that I've finally gotten the rail running properly. It would actually be the case. Yeah, so there, here there are even more tracks. I don't even know. And there are bridges and there are <coughs> all sorts of things. So this is where we bring all the, all the stuff from first town. Well, this is, yeah, not here. That's, that's the third huge chemical plant. But all here is where we bring all the stuff from first time. All the custom construction material, all the food, all the meat, all the clothing, all the electronics, all the everything that they need up here. Yes. Uh, to make aluminium uh, and also make electricity nowadays for the people. Because that, that coal power plant, uh, that realistic coal power plant, it, it kept, kept eating up so much coal for us that <coughs> we couldn't really keep the steel production going and, and so on in, in such a rapid pace as we wanted. But should we maybe finish the aluminium industry first? Yeah, it, yeah we try and go with, go over it quickly. Raw bauxite, instead of uh, taking it automatically to the border as we did in the beginning, we take it here now onto two piles. Yeah, They are split into two more or less mirrored setups. They're a bit, they're one difference, but we take the one on the right here. That's yes, colleague, what? Good evening. Are you woken up now? How are you doing? Oh, not so, not so bad. All things considered, right? No. Uh, yes, uh, so it's it goes to, to bauxite processing things first. Uh, <coughs> and, and then this looks 
messy. Uh, it is a bit messy, but, but the, 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 the point of it is to take the outputs of both of these two uh, bauxite processing plants into one uh, conveyor output so that we can use priorities here and prioritize the aluminium industry. And if, if they're full, uh, for a long time they, they were lacking in chemicals, for example, they, they use quite a bit of them. We need three of those huge chemical plants to have them <coughs> running at this capacity. Yep. But uh, before that we, we, uh, we had a bit, uh, a bit of excess uh, bauxite every now and then. Process bauxite. So to get that working, that, that's why there are so many conveyor towers there. Uh, to have it prioritized and, and so on. Uh, so it, the bauxite may either end up uh, on one of these trains heading either west or east or it can end up on this pile and being turned into aluminium oxide here at the alumina plant which uh, also isn't working for the moment it's, it's not smoking the other one is let's go look at that one instead and there you have it that's uh, as aluminium oxide being produced and put into a system here. Yes, here it goes out and ends up in a buffer and, and into the aluminium plant as is on the other side. That's the aluminium industry. So, electricity then. Yeah, electricity not a problem here uh, because we have this. This is great, this is our uh, nuclear reactor. I'm a bit worried about this uh, coming out of it. I don't know what this is. It looks too dark to be water vapor, so I don't think it is water vapor. Um, oh, but there is something. Uh, the, the main main event with it is that it produces all the electricity we need, and it does it so very reliably since it is sort of integrated into town. People living here may be slightly impacted by by the pollution it gives off. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it gives off pollution. Yeah, and uh, also this <coughs> cool, cooling tower gives off a bit of pollution, according to, to the Soviet Republic. Yeah, it gives off water vapor. That's very much a, a toxic, very toxic water. Maybe it may be toxic water that we, we evaporate. You never know. Um, but aluminium town, what was to say about Aluminium Town? We uh, actually, Aluminium Town has a few of these driving around automobiles every here and there. I think we can take us down to street level and see what's up in Aluminium Town. That's the main attraction, obviously. This is where everyone's walking. For a very, very long time, uh, this was the only shopping center, and it really was a bit more exciting then. Uh, when, when there only was one shopping center because we got so very many people in here but I think I don't I can't turn this off anymore because this is not reachable by everyone or is it? it is it is reachable by, by everyone then, then okay we turn this off here we go don't uh, queue Ah, right, we have to throw the stuff away for them not to queue, because if it's long... Oh, crap, I don't want to st throw the stuff away. Is this, a, is this a reasonable thing to do? Just to have all the people go to... Yes, it is. Uh, remove this connection. Uh, empty all the things. Warehouse, empty holes, yes. The meat. Yeah, they want that too, uh, apparently. The meat, though, is going to it's going to fill back up. But well, that's okay. Uh, we only need this for a short while, I think, to make an effective demonstration of what happens when everyone is going to to the same shopping center here in town, wherever it is. They know where it is. I'm not 100% familiar from this perspective. I think it's right behind. No, no, it ought to be right here. There, here it is. And most of the people come from from over here. Uh, 
it wasn't that. Yeah, that that was a real great, real, real great, um, what should we call it, uh, dramatic demonstration of what happens. If you only have one shopping center for all these people, it could be due to the, the recent crisis here that we don't have actually that many people living in this town as it's uh, as is customary. Let's go uh, have a look at the count. Well, it's 15, uh, 15 and a bit thousand. So, yes, they're not hungry yet. Uh, okay, it is completely full. This, this, the queues are forming. It's getting crowded, say. Quite crowded. Half an hour has passed. And we have not gotten to third town. God damn it. Uh, I lost track. Yeah, well, we make aluminium uh, and we sell that to great, great profit. Uh, I don't know if it's, great, if it's great profit considering all the goddamn uh, chemicals it takes. But we also have, of course, the fuel cycle for this. Uh, closed, uh, more or less. Yeah, clo we have it closed as far as we're concerned anyway. Uh, because we get, uh, we dig some uranium up uh, on, out of this mountain here. We convey it down the mountain into a uranium processing facility, onto a heap uh, of uranium ore, into uranium oxide, into a uh, yeah, conversion plant, turn it into UF6 here, and then turn it into nuclear fuel. Uh, all of this also requires quite a bit of chemicals, but it's okay because it's not really running at a very quick pace to feed our one reactor. Uh, if I were to run this at a quick rate, these people living here would not fare so great. But uh, since we're running it at a very, very modest pace uh, for our electricity needs, it's all, all, all right, all okay. Yes, this yes, is. So yeah, and then we have here what we do. You said, the, uh, yeah, I claim that the fuel cycle is comple complete for the nuclear thing, as far as we're concerned, and it is because here is. Where it ends up, there's a train somewhere, a little, little short train, just one locomotive and one wagon, uh, going around and doing that bit. Out here we're doing oil extraction too, wouldn't you know it? Uh, as I said, we're, we're, we're expanding, we're apparently, even currently expanding, look at all this construction going on here. It's in full spring. Okay, maybe the tour will be an hour then. Uh, otherwise it's going to be too rushed, considering what's going on all, uh, all over here. Well, it's not every day as you see a Soviet digger being transported on a 24 meter Scania here. The 70s Scania at that. Uh, there's still quite a bit of work out here to, to do, but they're getting on with it and think that we're we're sort of caught up with, with the fuel situation, maybe. Uh, but all these cars and everything that, that they have gotten recently has been rather taxing on, on the fuel situation. Also, these things are not what you'd call uh, fuel economical. Uh, TU-144 here, the Soviet Concords, no, <laughs> they're not. And it's very necessary to have a, a hyper, uh, um, supersonic airplane uh, so when you have a, a 20 square kilometers uh, land kingdom. Yeah, but it's pretty damn cool to have this <laughs> flying around place. And sometimes they bring people down to, to the theater in, in Third Town. I don't know if it, if it works, if that has ever happened, but that, that's the intention. What are you seeking when you go on the 30 passengers we get? Not bad. Since we're going to Third Town, we, we take the, uh, the airplane here. Your average productivity is only 96%. You're a slacker. What's this? I expect most of the people of aluminium town to be above 100%. You're 98% happy? What's wrong with you? Hmm. You want culture. You might actually be going to... If, if you're going to, to the... 
to to the theater you're going to get so much got that much culture that you won't even know what to do with yourself and you too you don't have a television do you no you don't great we have people who, who doesn't have televisions and therefore they're they're going on the airplane to to get the culture And uh, yeah, another plane just landed. Or are we uh, ride? Yeah, we're actually riding our first airplane, the first one to can come off the, the the production line. And here we're coming up on the aerospace industry. This is where we make airplanes. Same sort of deal as the vehicle thing. It needs the same things, just in different proportions and. Uh, and one more thing, aluminium is what they need too. Watch out for the wind mist. I don't think that's as, as the safest approach that you could take. Um. You, you could have kept a bit more altitude maybe before going. Don't try and show off with the windmills. The, 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 it will not end well. It will end uh, in the fireball here at the neighbors. And we don't want that. Oh, but the T-144 has taken us to third town. And here I think traffic is just such a nightmare that it's... Um, I, let's see if it, if it could be considered a joke or if it's just too bad. If it's just too too bad to, to even be funny, if it's just too 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 bad, if it's just too bad, I try to build this motorway. Yeah, this is the third town. It's more of the same, except the different. Uh, very much focus on on personal vehicles and building airplanes. So, uh, and this recreational area here up on the mountain. How are you doing here with the traffic? So, uh, this is a motorway, there is a left lane too, which you can use at your discretion, uh, basically as long as you're taking over. We have Rechtsfargebot here too. It means you always have to drive on the right, you know, unless overtaking. Yeah, damn Americans, you can't understand this simple damn concept. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, this is a bit... A bit messy, but I've seen it a whole lot worse. There have uh, been a queue, there has been queues all the way down, halfway down the mountain. But everyone working here, everyone visiting here, except for the tourists, yeah, they have driven here. It's not a very effective means of getting workers to places, but it's, uh, it's fun, I suppose. <laughs> And from from the restaurant here, if you if you're a citizen and, and you drive up here to go and have a dinner at the restaurant, you can get a pretty decent view, either of your hometown, and you'll see an, an aeroplane come and go every so often, or you can look the other way and look out over the aerospace industry, and over there you can see three finished ones that are not even in service; they're just standing around. Um, because we have them, we have made them, and there were no, no more space for finished vehicles, so I had to put them somewhere when I didn't want to sell them. Not until we've filled up or something, or until there is a more interesting plane available to, to build. Yeah, <coughs> third time then. Just as the lights, lights come on in the night. Third town, you have a bus platform platform here too. Yeah. Where, where are all the cars? Where, what's what's happened to the traffic? It isn't looking too bad. Well, okay, if we go to the correct spot, to the taxi. No, it's not actually not not looking too bad. Hmm. It's actually looking fantastic. This uh, is uh, flowing nicely. Sort of. Oh, we could get maybe a bit of bunching up. Oh, 
what they seem to be handling it quite nicely. That was all to say. I would would have think would have thought. So the, that's the traffic of Third Town. It wasn't actually that bad this time around for some unknown reason. Are you uh, you're not managing to sell any vehicles because uh, all the parking lots are full? But we're building more parking lots. Uh, we have built more parking lots. Okay, no one's interested. Let's see what it says about this. Oh, it's uh, in the progress of selling cars. Okay, it's just that we have <laughs> we have a lot in stock. Yes, and we only have two cars. Get 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 some speed on this. This is really necessary that we have even more cars driving around. <clears throat> yes, I think in the winter time uh, this can become quite quite bad, quite bad. Here we, here we can see a nice mix, I think. Of, well, this is one, two, three, it's both of them. Both of them. <laughs> right, so here's the one, two, four. Very nice. Very nice. We just have a fleet of Mercedes. This is fantastic. This, this is how it's supposed to be. Only these two models of cars are car available. Uh, that's the only ones we have. <clears throat> and soon, later on, Pretty soon, as soon as we can, we we'll we'll try and replace them or amend them with 140s. That will be great. That's really the best Sornichts uh, car, right? The 140. I think so. I think it's pretty much agreed upon. Among Mercedes enthusiasts, <laughs> anyway, it's the best car ever made. Yes. Best engineered, most well engineered, the most over engineered piece of German. I couldn't say. Yeah, most over engineered piece of German engineering, automobile engineering that you could think of. It's the pinnacle of the over engineering German over engineering until it became uh, poorly over engineered. When it was still good over engineering. Yes. Good over engineering. It's, uh, it can be great and expensive, <laughs> but, but great. Bad over engineering is not good. Oh, boring over engineering. Cost savings. Yeah. Plastic oil pan. What the hell, the Mercedes? Is that supposed to be Mercedes? These do not have plastic oil pans, let me tell you. Oh. But yeah, a modern Mercedes has a, a plastic oil pan. That's quite rubbish. This um, this is a bit steep here. I, I hope that you have trained well for for you know starting slope, and that your parking brake is working in order and your clutch is good and so on. Because I don't think that these are automatics. If you have an automatic here, yeah, there's no problem at all. Put on brake until you're ready to go, and then just hit the accelerator, and a torque converter will take care of everything for you. Very comfortable. Use a bit of fuel, but the fuel is free and plentiful. Uh, they are starting. They apparently have this modern start-stop technology here. Yeah. I'm not sure you should be uh, starting and stopping this all the time. I'm not sure the starters and everything is uh, rated for, for that. You know. Oh, digression. Digression, digression. German over engineering. We have digressed about a little bit now. Uh, the third town is, is actually real smooth. Very nice. Even all the cars are, are there. Here. Yep. That that will be that. No, did did not quite keep it to uh, to half an hour, but I kept it to an hour. <sighs> At the very least. Yes. This is working. Uh, the, here, we, I, I, the, the sharp eyed among, amongst you here have noticed that we don't have a university in this town. 
How do we get doctors and engineers for, for the, the aeroplane making facilities then? Well, you say we commute them by aeroplane, of course. Um, hopefully this, this will also work. You, yeah, this is a bit inconsiderate to the passengers, I think. That you refuel the aeroplane before you let them off. The hell? Uh, you can, can sort of they sort of get on with that, you know, on their own the thing, and the people can get off. Yes, they don't need to wait around for for us to load uh, uh, sixty thousand liters of fuel <laughs> here. <laughs> that takes a while. Sixty thousand liters. Uh, use use a bit this. Width 26, 28 meters. I don't think so. Well, uh, how wide is uh, a TU 144? Yeah, we got students. Uh, we, we take the airplane back to the first town, and that will round it off quite nicely, I think. There we have the dynamic follow camera. So that was the the short history of short, right? As as short and condensed as I could make it. I tried my best. God damn it! Like one hour. Uh, it's not going to get shorter than that. Uh, th yep. That's 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 my republic. I can't build any more on it now because now it's starting. As we've seen, it's uh, quite laggy at, at places and, and frame droppy. But still, very much. Enjoyable as long as I don't ruin it by building anymore. Oh, nope. only touching up a few bits, adding a bit more oil extraction, so on. A little bit here and there. Some things will probably break over time. Now it's really taxing uh, us here because uh, we have rain, we have the, the, the most awful town, the world, the second worst town, or maybe the worst town when it comes to performance here. Yeah, so much stuff going on. But there we have it, as the plane takes off, uh, colleague and colleague, colleague, yes, then we thank them so very much for watching, yes, we thank you so very much for watching, colleague, yes, we do, thank you, and uh, cheers, indeed, good night.